Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Imagineers was released on October 13, 2016, marking this October as its fifth anniversary. Throughout that time, tons of people have created their own Skylanders through their creation crystals, and one of those people are me. Throughout the five years, I've collected a few crystals and made a variety of awesome yet cringy creations. Today, I'm going to rank every creation I currently have made and try not to be too biased. However, I won't be ranking my Imagineer from the intro of my videos. That would be too easy as it would get the number one spot in seconds. Regardless, I'm Crash Rousel of Crash the Skylands, and this is all of my Imaginators ranked from worst to best. I'm in a better mood this time, I'm not going to wave a bottle at you. Besides, when I do that, the camera becomes blurry, and then I don't notice it till well after I'm editing and someone shout out in the comments, you know? So I'm not going to wave a bottle at you this time, plus I'm in a better mood because you guys are learning. It took you so long, but you finally learned that opinions are like everybody. They exist. I guess. But everybody has their opinion. So as always, this is my personal opinion, meaning that every imaginator that I made, that I created, you know, I'm going to be biased about. And I know you're probably going to be a little bit confused watching this being like, what, what imaginators? But, you know... It's everybody's opinion. What am I going on with? Kind of a little tired, not gonna lie. I'm gonna ramble about my favorite Imaginators now. So if you guys agree with me, you can let me know. If you disagree with me, that's fine. But you gotta be respectful about it. But this is literally my list of my created. Well, except like four of them. But for real though, let's go talk about them now. I, uh, I'm, I'm kind of, like I'm kind of doing these kind of back to back. You know how, you know, I did the magic one not too long ago, now I'm doing this one kind of soon. It's, it's kind of creeping me out that I'm getting two ranking videos kind of back to back. So, I'm gonna go back to recording me talking about the Imaginators now, and we'll go from there. Number 14, Chime Time. Looking back at my creations, Chime Time was very loosely thrown together, and I know I can build him better. Since he already has his legacy lock within the Imagine Lock, it wouldn't make sense to change him now. I just know I could have done better. Number 13, Celio Oscuro. Along with the fact I know I keep butchering his name, Celio is uninspired as I made his backstory too dramatic for a basic looking figure. If you think about it, his weapons and his character don't match, and I could have built him way better. Number 12, Amoogus. Although you, the viewers, helped create Amoogus, I feel like we could have done better. Although I have switched his weapon up since, Amoogus is just a tad bit uninspiring himself, as he's just a meme. Yeah, don't think I didn't think all of you tried to hide that he's clearly named after Among Us. Like, is that game even relevant anymore? Number 11, Magna Blob. I love the name of this character as it made me laugh a ton in the stream. I just feel like his design could be a bit better along with his element. Magna Blob reminds me of a tech Skylander, yet he's from the Earth element. I understand that you guys did decide what Magna Blob looked like, but I do have my own ideas of how he should have looked. Number 10, Woody. I love Toy Story, hence the reason I even made Woody in Skylanders, but compared to my more creative creations, Woody is very basic. I just took an actual real thing and put it in Skylanders. I'm not Brylander, I'm way more handsome. Making a tech gunslinger that isn't already basically pre-made makes Woody this far on this list, even though I love how he looks. Number 9, Air Canada. Sorry Jap, but our version is way better. The only issue here is that he's way too plain overall. The color scheme and the weapon of choice make this Skylander very pleasing, but when it comes to other Skylanders on this list, Air Canada is flying pretty low right now. If we just change the fedora, maybe he would be a bit higher, but that's his placing for now, my lady. Number 8, Skelly Bro. Even though he was a survivor from the Imagine Lock, Skelly Bro is not a good looking Skylander. Pure power and a running joke of a name doesn't make this Skylar high up on the list, but the pure joy I had making this Skylar and playing as him makes this pick worth roughly the middle spot. Number 7, Seesaw. Honestly, the origin of this Skylar puts him in this spot. Seesaw has a simple design with his spiral eye and basic gear, but when I created him as a brother to Dive Claps and Eyebrawl, even though originally a cool idea, it throws the whole Skylander off. I still adore the little guy as he was an MVP throughout my lock, but the rose-colored glasses have worn off. Number 6, Hollow Owl. From the ashes of one Imaginator will rise another. 
Hollow Owl was a character created on a live stream who I instantly loved, and Duracell basically demanding I name it after a failed music project, Hollow Owl took a big place in my heart. That giant bird head with his very slow and deep, manly voice is enough to drive anyone to happiness. If you hadn't seen Hollow Owl in action, you need to see the Imagine Lock Extended or the live stream to get the full appeal of this creation. Number 5, Potted Chance. Whenever I'm making my own Skylanders, I knew I needed a ton of pun names mixed with creative Skylanders. Potted Champ was the second one that fit this criteria as I loved the little green magic mushroom with the awesome staff, mixed with an hilarious and creative name. Potted Champ may not have had an excellent run during the original Magilock, but he did leave a lasting impression with the viewers and myself. Number 4, King Coral. When I mentioned origin stories earlier, King Coral hands down has the best one of them all. His overall design is one of my favorites as he has a nautical design but mixed with modern elements, plus his trident sentinel weapon has to be one of my favorites in the entire game. King Coral is one of everyone's favorites during the lock and will always be one of mine, but compared to the last three, he's only mere inches away from the top. Number 3, Snickershot. Snickershot won a contest through Skylander's Twitter page that gave me a free custom figure of him. His amazing design and colors were not only impressive to me, but to the creators of the actual game. So good that they wanted to turn him into a working figurine for the game. Snickershot paired perfectly with the rainbow as his character is a walking laugh for anyone who has ever had the pleasure of seeing him work. Number 2, Slabertooth. The first version of Slabertooth will always haunt my sleep paralysis demon's nightmares, but the second version of Slabertooth will be one of the best designs I've ever made in any video game of all time. His moveset made him even cooler with the perfect mix of speed, strength, and stamina. Slabertooth was the second Imaginary I ever made, and once I finished his actual design, I knew he would be one of my favorites forever. Number 1, Boulder Badger. Boulder Badger was created on the Imaginaries app well before the game was even close to releasing. Every day I would open the app to either edit one thing about him or just look at his awesome design, thinking how only in a few short months I could create him in-game and see how great he actually is. Boulder Badger lived up to the hype more than any Skylander that ever actually existed. There's a reason he's at level 53 in the game and how I can play an entire session with him and never get tired of him. And that's my list! Who is your favorite Imaginary I've made? And who's your own personal favorite Imaginary? Let me know in the comments below. Plus, like always, I have a ton of awesome new and classic SkyTubers in the description below creating some awesome content every single day. Plus, I actually made some new episodes of the Imagine Lock I mentioned in the video, so go check them out there on the right. Also, subscribe and like if you want to see more. But as always, I bid you farewell.